Hi guys, this is Beth Boomer back with you uh, doing a walk and talk after my run. Um, today's a beautiful 60 degrees here in <clears throat> Arizona and the leaves have, some of the leaves have fallen from the trees and um, you know the grass has been mowed and it almost smells like home, like Iowa. Um, uh, but it's it's beautiful. The temperature is perfect for a run. So, uh, like, if you like my content, um, I'll get to that in a second, uh, please share and even consider subscribing. Um, I love uh, talking and giving my opinions, even though you might not agree with them, but I just give you a little different, maybe, um, perspective. So today, I'm going to compare two states for retirement. Um, I've been retired here in Arizona for about four years. And if you know me, you know that I am always, always looking, researching. Uh, my personality is um, an input kind of personality where I'm always, always looking. Um, so if you followed my journey in retirement, I know that's an overused word, um, but uh, what I was looking for, we moved here, um, you know, the weather, it's good, there's no snow. And uh, also, uh, my daughter lives here, and grandkids um, in Peoria. But what I was always looking for is the perfect weather all year round. Well, you and I know in Arizona, it's not perfect all year round. Winter right now is gorgeous. You cannot beat this winter anywhere in the U.S. Anywhere. No humidity, beautiful temperatures, cools off overnight and warms up by afternoon, but never, you know, I'm in shirt sleeves right now, it's 60 degrees. Uh, so, um, I looked for best weather here in Arizona, you know, not move, but find some place where it's a little bit cooler. Uh, in the summers and I found Prescott and I did videos on that and it's a beautiful area quite expensive however quite expensive um, more expensive than here in Surprise and um, there were some new housing developments and those houses were absolutely gorgeous uh, but you know at least a hundred more thousand dollars for a house um, you know like what we have so and the clincher was they do get some snow. Not a lot. I think it's like 10 inches a year, you know, and it probably melts the next day. They could get a few inches and it'd be gone. That would be fine with me, but with my husband, snow is a no-go. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I can continue my search um, because it's, it's kind of fun. Um, I wanted to find Okay, so where's another place that's really, really good weather, knowing that, you know, you'd probably have to uh, move to get temperate uh, temperatures all year round. Um, and, you know, the, the number one and two places, Hawaii and uh, San, Santa Barbara, California, there's no way. You talk about expensive, uh, those would be out of the question. Aside from the fact, I said there'd be no politics here, I don't want to live in crazy California. Um, there might be some conservative pockets, but it's crazy. And their big cities are trashed. Um, so I kept looking and I researched, uh, you know, what place, where's another place with temperate, um, with a temperate climate uh, that's livable all year round and here's one that i've never even heard of uh, of course i've heard of florida and the humidity kind of turns me off there but there's a little town called vero beach not on the ocean but close to the ocean and i suppose that's what maybe tempers the temperatures you know um i don't know but um so i found that so i thought well i'll do a little comparison there between Arizona and Florida, just targeting, um, you know, these two cities. Surprise, where I live right now. 
and then um, trying to get this note out. Uh, surprise, and then Vero Beach. Knowing that, you know, uh, the state differs all over. But I'm looking for a place that uh, checks all my boxes. So, let me just compare Surprise uh, with Vero Beach, if you're thinking between Arizona and Florida. Um, the hottest month in Arizona is in July, and the average temperature in July is 106. <laughs> okay, and that's an average temperature. The hottest month in Vero Beach is also July and August, where the average temperature is 90 degrees. Now, that's quite a difference. Um, the coldest month, the average temperature in Surprise, Arizona, is 66 degrees. Uh, the coldest month in Vero Beach is 73 degrees. So, obviously, um, it doesn't get quite as cool in Vero Beach. Um, but still, 73, that's pretty good. Uh, average relative humidity is 38.5% in Surprise. And Vero Beach, it's 74.5%. So, and I know it's humid. And I don't know how exactly um, that would feel all the time. I've been to Florida and I'm going to Florida again, just to kind of see. Um, comparing cost of living though, here's something interesting. So, surprise Arizona, um, if you were making 120,000 in Surprise, Arizona, you'd only have to make $109,574 in Vero Beach. So, you know, the cost of living is less. That's always a good thing. Uh, the median household income in Surprise is $65,898, and the median household income in Vero Beach is $46,329. So, and I've looked in Vero Beach at the different neighborhoods and, um, you know, searched out, uh, you know, low crime areas and those kinds of things. So, you know, I would uh, absolutely target those areas. Um, and I don't know, you know, uh, the average income that they just put all Vero Beach together. And it's, there's all kinds of little pockets in there. Um, sometimes in Arizona, the air quality is poor. Uh, the average, if you know, um, 100 is uh, the best. The average here is 65, whereas in Vero Beach, actually it's 75. So the air is cleaner. Um, the U.S. average across the board is 58. So surprise is a little worse air than average, and um, Vero Beach is quite a bit better uh, than average across the nation. Um, surprise Arizona, the population, I think this is a little outdated, but 142,049, whereas Vero Beach is 17,236, and that's from 2018. So it's a, a much smaller um, community, and I know from uh, reading about it that it doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, chain restaurants and things like that. It has a Sam's Club. Uh, but it has a lot of little restaurants and boutique kind of shops, and it is a um, tourist destination. Um, I know that there is a Disney resort on Vero Beach. So if you know anything about Disney, they choose the absolute best places for those resorts. Um, it's got to be beautiful. And Vero Beach along the coastline is very, very beautiful. And they keep the buildings low. Um, so as not to obstruct your view. So it's beautiful. And ocean, you know, oceans to me, um, you know, I could probably sit there and look at the ocean for hours and hours. Um, so there's uh, kind of the comparison. Let me read you a little blurb here. Um, here's one of the like uh, descriptions of Vero Beach. Elegant city along Florida's Atlantic coast, a haven for golf, water sports, and fishing. Peaceful beaches, museums, nature tours, and a range of hotels make Vero Beach a terrific vacation destination and an important part um, of the region known as uh, Treasure Coast. 
Um, so again, if you, you know, if it's someplace that's a vacation destination, you know, it's probably beautiful. And, um, and I'd have to say, you know, Arizona, if you go into um, Phoenix and, you know, the towns, there's so much to do. Uh, and same um, in Florida. So looking at these, um, like I say, the climate, you know, uh, that range of temperatures, um, 73 to 90, is not too bad. You know, it doesn't go to extremes, and of course there's no snow. Um, the humidity is a big downer. Um, but another thing about Florida that I didn't realize, and we didn't, you know, do as much research as we could have, should have, <laughs> before we moved. Uh, but Arizona, <laughs> excuse me, Florida, uh, tax-wise, is so friendly to retirees. Uh, 401ks are not taxed. Now that is absolutely huge, huge. You know, when I've taken a withdrawal from 401k and you pay a third of it in taxes, it's like, are you kidding me? Uh, and in Florida, they don't tax it. That's awesome. They also don't have um, a state income tax. And get this, they don't tax pensions. And since my husband and I live on pensions, uh, you know, it's that's a pretty good darn deal. So uh, there's just um, some of my research and it's very you know targeted it's not going to apply to you know everyone if you're looking to choose between Arizona Arizona and Florida but um, it's just little key points in these two uh, you know targets in these two states just food for thought and uh, so anyway at least I didn't talk about politics today so I shouldn't get any hate I think there's too much to hate about either of these states. Um, oh, I will say, though, Florida is, for the most part, conservative. So, um, and of course, you know, Arizona is conservative, too. Now I'm going to go, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole of talking about how Arizona kind of turned uh, purple or blue. It didn't, okay? So, anyway, uh, you all take care of yourselves out there and um, stay safe and until my next walk and talk um, take care i'll see you bye bye